Hello, I'm Darkon, and this is War for the Overworld. If you don't know about this game entirely, I'll give you a short explanation. It did come out on April 2nd. Unfortunately, it did have some bugs that at certain points of the campaign it did make it unplayable. I did reset the camp. I did, however, complete the campaign and reset it for this gameplay video. It's also going to be for strategy for certain levels that seem to be a bit difficult at times. Sometimes it's a very simple strategy, but I figured some people might just want to see it anyways. The game is a spiritual successor to the original Dungeon Keeper games, which the last one came out in 1999, I believe. The actual term, or the word, War for the Overworld, was actually taken, was not directly taken, mind you, but pretty much from the planned Dungeon Keeper 3 game, which had the title after it, War for the Overworld. Kind of on the nose there, but so is the entire gameplay as well. However, the people who made this game worked hard on it. I can definitely tell they took a lot of inspiration and they did play and they did take a look closely at the original games for this. There have been a few games that have tried to be similar to the original Dungeon Keeper games, but unfortunately they did fall short of them. Usually with certain things, maybe gameplay or other stuff, they just didn't quite have it. However, this game really does. And, without, and I'm going to try to keep these games at about a 30 minute mark, if it goes just above it. It's when I'm in the middle of a campaign, I will extend it if it's just short of it when the mission ends. Uh, that will be the end of the video and continue on with the rest of it in another one. So without further ado, let's go with... Let's start a war. I've been looking for someone to spearhead my campaign. But before we get stuck in, let's refresh that old mind of yours. I will try not to speak over him, but he does tend to randomly say stuff at times. Now go! Welcome back, Underlord. I must say, I wasn't expecting you quite so soon. The transference may have left you feeling a bit foggy in the head. Focus now. I'll try to ease you back into it. Fortunately, this does seem to get easier each time. This is your home realm, the source of your power, and the anchor that binds you to reality. Many years ago, it was destroyed and you were cast out into formless nothing. Fortunately, you've returned from your exile to once again challenge those who would stand between us and the mortal realm of Kairos. Your resurrection heralds the next phase of our assault upon its wretched empire. Now led by the newly crowned Emperor Lucius. But he is least and final of our worries. It's his generals and the protection of their goddess, Kira, that will truly test our mettle. Ready yourself, Underlord. Let's begin our war for the overworld. Yeah, any way you put it, that king just looks like an absolute jackass. I mean, honestly, he looks like the bad guy, but this is similar to some games like Welcome this. Welcome back, Underlord. It's been a long time since you were banished to the ether. You've returned as a husk of your former self, but I've taught far denser Underlords than you. Let's start with the basics. This is your dungeon core. The tether that allows you to manifest your malignant will. If destroyed, your consciousness will once again be scattered to the void. Your workers are an extension of your dark will. They have many jobs, but their main focus is in carving out the halls of your dungeon. Put them to work by clicking and dragging your cursor upon the flashing tiles to tag them for excavation. 
Your workers will now rush forth to dig out and claim the tagged area. Once they have laid down the stones, marking the ground as your own, you will be able to build rooms upon the finished tiles. While your luckies get to work, look to the east of your dungeon core. This is a gateway, one of the many portals that you'll use to attract minions to your dungeon. Order your workers to dig a path to it now. Clean now things. that you have a gateway, minions can enter into your service. But first, you'll need to build the rooms necessary to entice them in. Start by building a barracks. This room will allow your minions to hone their combat skills without the risk of permanent death or disfigurement. Select it and build it by clicking and dragging your hand across the claimed tiles. Most rooms must be built at least three by three in order to function properly, though the lair and vault are effective at any size. Now quickly, anything or things like this does take the does take your little imps longer to claim. When they're not digging, they will, as you've probably seen them do across here, they will start to effectively claim them in a way that it actually reinforces the wall. So it does take them longer to dig, but it takes the enemy, when you do encounter ones like that, that dig through, will take them much longer as well to dig those spots. Also, the minions in the original one were much more cartoony, and these ones they look much more demented and evil. Still pretty funny though. Well, let's get a barracks. Oop. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Attracted by the barracks, these green-skinned scrappers aren't quite right in the head and they'll happily hack at your foes until someone is dead. Outside of combat, Gnarlings will train themselves within your barracks. You can pick them up with a click if you find them slouching off, then deposit them anywhere within your dungeon with a right click. For further entertainment, you can always put yourself directly into their head by casting possession upon them. Let's try that. Now that you have some minions, you will need to cater for their basic needs. First, build a lair, so the pitiful little meat sacks can get some rest. Your minions are under attack! As you can see, I'm also getting experience by doing it for him. One thing you'll also take a look at is that there is a level 5 option option down there. I press 1, I get the basic attack. I press, actually no, it's right, that's 2. 2 for the basic attack, 3 for the shiv. I didn't, couldn't quite see that. And of course for the cleave. When, they, when certain minions reach different levels, or I believe it might be all level 5, they will, like I said, they'll learn a special move. Similar to, I believe, cultists at level 5 learn to use a heal. Let's see if we can get the, uh... Oh, there's a strip. Let's see if we can see that. Nope. Can't quite see it. Not here, anyways. And of course, you can press F for work. In the case of these ones, I'm not entirely sure what they... Ah, there we go. For them, it's pretty much just an experience. But we'll escape out of here first. Now, minions will not claim tiles like this. They can't. Like, they won't dig through things randomly. So if you do it like that, they can't dig because they won't go through this. But as soon as you press that, yeah, they'll start digging. Keep them all connected. Also, when rooms are like this, three breath here to start, but many of the rooms will, later on, be can be bigger, so let's cancel that. So if I just extend it by two more, another one of these will open up. So two minions can actually train.
Well done. But see how your gold reserves have been depleted. Command your workers to mine some of the nearby gold by tagging the gleaming tiles. They collect and return gold to your dungeon coffers, allowing you to spend it on whatever your dark heart desires. Your core can store up to 16,000 gold pieces. But if that number sounds pitifully small, or if wealth inspires the evil in you, simply build a vault to store more. Now that you've got a bit of coin in your pocket, you can build a slaughter pan. This room produces scores of micro piglets, a delicacy that will sustain the weak flesh of your minions by filling their bellies with succulent pig flesh. In the original game, they didn't have micro pig piglets, but they did have sheep. Different stuff. And there we go. Also, when the imps claim tie, claim walls like this, depending on the room, the different spots like this here will change. So, like, for instance, your here, dungeon has been breached. Take a look. Cast rally upon these specters, mm -hmm. and your minions will immediately sally forth to wreak bloody havoc. Said those had weapons and all that. And this one, well, I'll show you what's on the book. Ah, there we go. Cages and, of course, pigs on hooks. Ah. Well, let's get rid of these before they kill our minions. Your minions are being attacked! Well done! Now finish off level. the rest of these manifestations with a second rally flag. Minions will rent, continue to claim th tiles when they can. They can, however, they cannot claim attack. anything outside without having a bridge built over water or lava. Your gnarlings made short work of those spectres, but see how they still circle the flag. You can dismiss rally flags by slapping them with a right click. This should allow your minions to return to their jobs and tend their needs in a timely fashion. You can cast recall upon a minion to immediately return them to your dungeon, though if they are attacked as it channels, then the spell will fizzle into nothing. I do believe the minions show up around here when you You're use the You're on recall. a roll, Underlord. And I've been waiting far too long to begin See, my war for the one. overworld. Let us enter the realm of Kairos. He can also continue your retraining against a more fitting enemy. Well done, Underlord. I see it all coming back quite quickly. I expected nothing less. But there's much <coughs> still to learn. <coughs> Why don't we work Pardon in me? a bit of murder while we're at it? It's time for you to enter the realm of Kairos! And here you go. Every time you administer a slap, I believe it's not for the micro piglets, but just for the minions. It could be both, but either way, when you slap a minion, it tends to make them work faster. Don't do it all the time because it also damages them. Might not be obvious, but I figured I might as well say it anyways. And the rest of these will, well, those will be covered as the game goes on. Now's the time for a bigger challenge. Before you lies an Imperial Keep, guarded by a certain Lord Rusimov. He had a bit of an accident that melted most of his face, but he's no less vigilant a soldier. He's been sent to guard an object that could threaten our campaign. Get in there, and burn the rest of him, Underlord! When you take a closer look at Lord Rosimov, he doesn't really look all that burned. It's essentially like the guy has been shaved. 
literally. I mean, like, you might have a few tiny scars, as I've seen on him, but... Honestly, it just looks like someone just took a shaver and went nuts. We've punctured the veil of this world through a schism. A point of weakness in the bonds between realms. Unfortunately for us, the Empire has crafted defenses to keep us from the heart of their kingdom. That won't last long. <laughs> These inhibitors prevent underlords from trespass. But whether it's bone or stone, it can be broken. If you can't tell, the guy with the big hammer is I suspect is that this enough. Empire force has yet to taste true battle. But before you go engaging them, you'll need to muster up some minions. Unfortunately for me, your time in the ether has left you a weak husk of your former self. In order to reacquire your powers, you will need to access the veins of evil. Open them now, and use a sin to unlock the archive. Ooh, a little too far up there. Archive unlocked. This room will allow your minions to research additional sins, which can be spent to recover your lost powers. Build one now to begin researching additional sins. Now, if you have too much room, the gold that they mine will just be dropped on the floor. It doesn't disappear, it's just pretty much your minions, when they want to be paid, can't really get at. They'll go for it. They'll always go for this stuff. But let's build a archive first. Build an archive, Underlord. Your forgotten powers are far more impressive than those you currently wield. Like I said, when you see something like that, it means that another one of those options is there, or another one of the research things. Add in about two more lanes of the size three, just like this. Again, you'll you should get another option. Depends on the different rooms, but that's essentially how it goes for most of them. A cultist has entered your dungeon. A cultist has found its way into your dungeon. Attracted by the magical tomes within your archive. These beings will spend most of their time researching sins for you. Though they are weak combatants, they have the power to curse your foes, making them weak to your other minions' blows. Can you see the minions claim your the walls here? Your minions are unfortunate beings of weak flesh. Build them a lair so they may rest. Looks quite different, doesn't it? Evil is just so well, let's get them build more rooms before them. Before everything goes nuts. It won't go nuts, but still. Evil is just so wholesome. And let's build another one right about. I should do it right around there. Evil is just so wholesome. I might even have nightmares about that one. You see, it's already claimed, and you put something else down. Things like this can show up. Again, it's just an aesthetic, but it looks cool. It's an attention to detail that really does make it interesting sometimes. Evil is just so wholesome. That's the kind of thing that turns your eyes to jelly. Evil is just so. A hungry minion can always find work elsewhere. Build a slaughter pad before your minions starve. Now I do believe that the voice actor for your the guy who assists you is the same one who did did it for the original Dungeon Keeper games, which again is actually quite a close thing for detail. See, just two more rather than three, and you get another micro piglet hut. Evil is just so wholesome. 
Of course, they'll want something again soon, so we might as well get ahead of the curve for it. Like I said, I've done this before, so I know exactly what they're looking for. Your cultists have worked hard to earn a new sin. Use need. it within the veins of evil yeah. to unlock the tavern. This room provides your minions with succulent cooked pig flesh and stout ale. After eating a meal within its hearthed halls, their spirits will be raised, increasing their productivity for a short time. As he researched there, the bar goes up simply and you get another vein of evil. Everything kind of unlocks automatically as the game goes on so this is a campaign, however it's not like that with other parts of the game. With multiplayer, I assume it's like that, and as well as with survival, which I have tried a bit of, even though it's not entirely complete. At least from what I've been told, or rather what they've said on it when you start it up. Tavern unlocked! This room provides your minions with succulent cooked pig flesh and stout ales. After eating a meal within its hearthed halls, their spirits will be raised. Increasing their productivity for a short time. That one there is not actually. And remember that the tavern is unique and must be built at least three by five in order to be effective. The reason why is because that's only one part of it. It, d it will show up, but however, you also need this, which is essentially. You'll the still table. need a slaughter pen in order to keep your tavern stocked. Watch but what in happens a pinch, when a pig goes in. You can always drop these some. Are empty? Alternative meat into the grinder. <laughs> Rooms will only attract a certain and number minions. of minions before becoming full. In order to attract more, you will need to expand them. And of course, naturally it gives you large sausages from these very tiny piglets and bacon Nothing that are longer than life is free under Lord, and you'll regularly need to pay your minions for their hard work. Be sure to keep an eye on your reserves, for if you've not enough gold for their wages, they'll be swift to find gainful employment elsewhere. Fortunately, your Dripping minions blood. will return some of their earnings oh, by buying meals within your own tavern. What a delicious arrangement. Of course it's not meant to be nice. You're meant to be evil. You're the bad guy. You're not the good guy. Evil is just so wholesome. Thank you. Is he? Cultus agrees with me. Yes, we get it. And of course, sometimes they just don't Something stop talking. Evil stares out there. Scouts, go find what the hell's making all that racket. Well, let's get a rally your minions to defeat these scouts once they breach your dungeon. Let's see if we can see it. In the dark, a little while longer, a gnarling has entered your dungeon. You should try using the lightning and heal spells to assist your minions in combat. I said, lightning is pretty strong, like, but like it shows there, you can only use it within your own claimed territory tiles. But heal, you can use it at any point, any time, anywhere. Can't quite hit them yet. Just gotta wait until they finish digging through. Let's hope. So they're just gonna take forever, honestly. There, now come on. Claim the tower. Or at least come closer. Down there. And there we go. No problems. Let's extend this a little bit. This one too. Evil is just so wholesome. I never get hungry You see, it's not completely full, but put one in, and there you go. 
It's at max capacity. Even if these things are full, this will still have its own little bit. And, well, just a little bit more. I don't we'll need that much, but still. Ah, here we go. This should do it. You see? We got one more. We actually got one. Actually got one more from just that. Nope. This is no Actually, game, moved. Underlord. Rally your minions to defend your dungeon core. The health of minions is represented by petals surrounding their unit shield. Your minions are under attack. Once no petals remain, a oh, creature really? will fall unconscious and soon die, unless returned to its lair to recover. They should be back by now. Ugh. Bar the doors. We wait for reinforcements. Look how easily your minions cut down these sappers. If I didn't know better, I'd say the Empire is woefully unprepared. Once minions are rested, you can leave them to their work or force them to train by These dropping them in a barracks. Let's do it anyways. That's enough Look training for now. Them. When you're ready, Rally your minions to the inhibitor and defeat Sarusimov. So when minions do gain a level, they get fireworks. Sounds like a bit of like an MMO. Of course, naturally for the training, we got whack-a-mole and essentially something that hits them back. At least it certainly looks like it. Let's turn around a little bit. I know it hits it, but still, take a look at that thing there. It just looks like something. Look, even it has a fist. So yeah, it's something that basically this one, whack a mole, and this one. One of your creatures is a back. vampire in disguise. And those kind of things, he will randomly say them constantly. Which again, it can be pretty funny. You see different spells. Prophecy unlocked. We actually. We actually had access to that. Forgot about that one, but yes, it does temporarily remove the fog of war. So, in case you're not sure about building too far ahead without essentially, like, say you you decided to get the main minions to build, or rather just to remove the dirt here, but you didn't realize this was open. Again, you take a look. Oh, there's nothing there to worry about. We keep doing so. And look, there is something down there. So let's get the minions to dig that up. Now that thing is actually important. It's not super important, but from later on levels, it becomes more important. Won't rub out. So those things become more important later on, but in beginning levels like this, it's... It really isn't all that important, but I'll show it to you anyways. But again, those kind, of, these kind of things here, you might not be able to see it. There we go. Those will be scattered all over different levels, dungeons. Sometimes they'll be very far away, kind of like this, and sometimes it's even harder than that. And also at times they're just right beside your dungeon. Naturally, the minions decide to climb all the way up here. They ain't gonna fight, and of course, naturally, we can't actually use lightning bolt, unfortunately, to actually take down the door. Because technically, it's on their side, as you can tell. Green for me, white for them. And honestly, we could use a lot of the gold, but rather, we don't actually have anything to use it on. We can get it, but not much of a point. And this right here, again, you can tell, it's impenetrable rock, which literally means that. Now, minions, if they don't take this themselves, you can pick these up yourself and drag it over towards the 
cultist area. Or like this. Oh. No, he didn't. I couldn't get it from him. I'll put it there. And it's an artifact, and they'll have to. Your cultists will have to research it for it to be useful. Let's get this guy to do it. Hey, you see. There we go. In the original game, or the original Dungeon Keepers, they, they didn't have cultists, but they had warlocks. If they're right, then your function is atrocious. Your form defies definition. I might even have nightmares about that one. Evil is just so... And we'll probably end up attacking as soon as this is done. And we'll find out what it actually does. They can do various things, from summoning minions to spiritual imps, and those imps, there's a spell for it. Or rather, no, I do believe it is a... It has to do with potions and such, but that's quite a bit later. I power nap as much as the next dark god. But could you finish the job? Yeah, yeah, you can wait. You said the artifacts do various things. In this case, it generates a lot of gold. But we're already at max. However, let's put a few more of these rooms just in where we can. And then we'll go to this. We'll activate it. And it just completely filled them entirely up. I have no idea how far it actually went. But again, the spell's a spell. Now let's get our minions to attack. We'll get them to pull up here first before we actually enter. Again, this should be all your minions with the exception to the imps. So anything that's like a battle, anything that's actually anything that isn't the imp, it should go towards this flag. And at this point, well, we only got two. It is payday here. Which is good enough. Now let's go hurt things. I could use possession at this point, but I find it's not really worthwhile. It's easier just to let them go at it. Steal yourself, lads. And of course, naturally. Your minions are under attack. This lets us use the minions. and six gnarlings. And of course the imps will start cleaning these tiles. It takes some longer than normal simply because it is the enemy. So they hit basically what they have to do is unclaim the tile and then claim it. However this is technically a room, so again it's gonna take them a while Your to Your minions are being attacked. Whoops. Get them. Yes. Right. Well, Your down. minions are under attack. Yep. Of course, these things at this point are basic. They're pretty damn easy to beat, as you can tell. Got one ton of behind us. So let's get rid of her first. Your minions are under attack. Now the bodies are supposed to stay there. They're used at that point. They're used for other things later on, like putting them into prisons. And well, actually, that's pretty. That's just about it. There's also the graveyard as well. But again, we'll get into that later on. Let's go do this. Your minions are in combat. Again, look at his face. Hello. Yeah, he just looks cool. And he didn't last long. I am 
extinguished. I'll see if I do a last little bit of fun than that. Put him out of his misery. Like, not much longer, but just a tiny bit. Of course, we got for the film. Then what you gotta do is break this. You can do the health potion. That guy's shaving well, his battle scars, Lord. but he doesn't You're look like he's much burning properly. This time. We've barely even started, and you already have a notch on your belt. Naturally. Well done, Underlord. But there's no rest for the wicked. Two inhibitors still stand between us and the mainland. But after your butchery of poor Lord Rusivov. I doubt they'll be as weakly defended. I hope you enjoy this first video for War for the Overworld. Not much strategy, yes, but let's be honest, these are like the first few levels. They're not supposed to be very difficult. It's essentially, you can pretty much just do whatever whatever the hell you want and win. Like You, you would have to pretty much try on purpose to lose on the first few beginning levels. Get, later on it gets a bit harder as you get more options and some of them are not unfortunately they're not terribly explained well how to use them to its their full effectiveness but hopefully that'll be something that they'll later on fix and such again i hope you enjoy this first little bit of war for the overworld if you're interested take a look if you do like the videos please do please like, fave, subscribe, or whatever else. Leave a comment below. I am going to try to improve everything overall. But so long, and goodbye.